morning, this is Don from r and and I'm here to talk about a piece of equipment that we provide here called an ergonomic lifting unit. This is what we call a 19,000 series unit. It's rated at 350 pounds in the stainless steel anodized version. And what makes that uh, stainless steel anodized is, is basically the legs, the power pack, and the handlebar are stainless steel. The section between the legs, which we call the intermediate section, and the lift master are aluminum anodized. I'm going to talk about the rear of the lifter, the rear of the lifter first, and then I will get to the front of the lifter and talk about the tooling. Um, on this particular unit, we have what we call a squeeze a turn, which is basically used to squeeze rolls or drums, pick them up, and be able to rotate them or manipulate them either into dumping or for placement into a, a packaging machine. On the rear of the lifter, we have what we call the three-position brake system. The lifter is locked, free to move north, south, east, and west. If you bring it all the way back, the front wheels, the back wheels will directionally lock so that you can travel down a narrow highway uh, without the load drifting on you. Again, you have your 24 volt stainless steel power pack with a battery indicator. You have a stainless steel handlebar that's completely adjustable up and down depending on the height of the unit or the height of your operator. You have what we call a four button remote control, which is fast up, fast down, slow up, slow down. On this particular unit, we have a control box that has a rotate joystick, which will rotate the, the, the tooling left or right. You have one button to close and two buttons to open as a safety factor so that the operator is cognizant of what they're doing when they're, whenever there is a roll or a drum on the lifter unit. I'm going to swing the lifter unit around and talk about the front of the unit. On the front of the unit, we have the stainless steel, what we call low built legs. They're very low to the ground. We have the we have the aluminum anodized mass that has a ball screw inside. On this particular unit, we have a limit switch kit, which limits the travel of the unit up to a certain point so that the operator can be dumping at the same height or loading the roll at the same height off the floor. As far as the tooling, we call this squeeze a turn. We have an electric rotate device here that we do the rotation with. We have what we call a short squeeze mast, which is the same as a lift mast, it just has a shorter ball screw. And we have a set of squeeze arms. One arm is fixed, which would be this arm, and this arm here moves in and out basically on the product. And at some point down the line here, I will turn this around and we will demonstrate how that works with a carboy, uh, which is a glass jar that a lot of the pharmaceutical companies use currently. Here we are with the lift reflux unit that I just described in the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a carboy, and this would be a typical pharmaceutical application where the carboy is on a racking system, then has to be taken off of the racking system and placed onto some kind of a washing system. Just for the video today, I have this thing up on what we call an aluminum pallet stand, which allows the lifter legs to get underneath there, and here's the carboy that I'm going to pick up. So I will move to the rear of the unit and basically just hit the close button so I can squeeze the, the carboy with the arms. So now I've got the carboy, I'm going to pick it up off of the off of the pallet. I'm going to move the carboy away from the pallet or the racking system. I'm now going to take the carboy over, I'm going to take it up in the air, and I'm going to rotate it 180 so I can then place it onto a, uh, a, a cart that has a washing system on it so that the carboy can be washed um, and thoroughly cleansed, you know, due to pharmaceutical requirements. So there, the, the carboy is then picked up and rotated 180 degrees, and I can now take the, the lifter unit with the carboy over to the racking system, place the carboy in the racking system, and then the, the washing process can begin.